everybody, Bass Bees. So today I want to talk to y'all about abscons. So we talked a little bit about swarming. Swarming is when the bees build up and they either want to reproduce or too congestive. Half the bees leave with the old queen, leaving queen cells behind the hatch and reestablish the hive. And the ones that swarm go on to build a new hive. So, abscons. Abscons are a little bit different. Absconding happens for many reasons, but basically, instead of leaving half the hive behind with the new queen, the whole hive leaves. So, they may leave a few little young bees that just hatched, that never flown before, and sometimes you come back to the hive, the hive's empty, there's some a few bees there, the bees in the field that come back when the hive left might come back, a handful, and maybe a few bees that have hatched since the hive left. But lots of things cause absconding. It's, uh, it's really confusing for beekeepers sometimes. It's uh, really expensive for beekeepers sometimes. They put in their hard work, they have the hives jamming, come back check on them and they're gone so let's talk about several things that causes absconding one of the uh, biggest causes for absconding is high varroa okay varroa mites they get built up they start overwhelming the hive the bees start getting parasites and diseases from the from the mites the diseases that they vector Basically, abscons happen when the bees can't control what's going on in the hive. So they leave the problem behind, basically, because they can't deal with it. Okay, so hive varroa would be uh, at the very top of the list, I would say. Um, next to varroa is heat. If bees can't control the brood nest temperature and... Uh, they have to leave. They can't, if it starts cooking the queen, or I mean, excuse me, the brood, uh, you know, the, the queen can actually be sterilized if she gets too hot. So nooks are terrible for this because uh, they can't control the heat. The best thing you can do is try to add room if your bees are bearding or getting too hot and help them control that nest. If not, they will have to abandon it. So they will leave for heat. That's another big one. Another one. Bees will abscond due to pests. Um, if small hive beetle runs rampant and they just can't deal with it, or ants, if they're under attack and they can't guard them off and they're overtaking the hive, they will abandon it if they get overrun. That's another pretty big one. That happens quite a lot. And there's several that people don't realize, okay? A lot of people think it's just high varroa or heat or pest. So another one is strong winds. A lot of people don't realize strong winds can keep the bees where they can't regulate the nest. And they'll leave. Another one, and I don't think this one's very, I think this one's pretty rare myself, is beekeeper disturbance. Now this depends on the bees and the genetics and lots of variables, but they will abscond if you keep bugging the crap out of them and it's stressing them out. And you can tell the bees are stressed. They run around, they're nervous, they're all over the frames, they're flying off at you. And you know, they might even be roaring kind of like they're queenless if they're really stressed. And uh, another one is predators. So skunks and possums, even coons um, or bears, but mainly, most commonly is skunks and possums, scratching at the hives, eating the bees, and uh, just under attack, and they will leave behind the problem. Another one that ain't very common is high humidity and poor drainage. If the bees, uh, if it's soaking wet and they can't deal with it, they will leave. Another one that'll do it, a lot of these people don't think about, a, floor, a poor flight path. If you have something blocking the bees, some bees just won't deal with it. 
and uh, they'll end up leaving. If, if it's a pain to get to the hive in and out, uh, eventually they could leave. Now, you know, a lot of these can cause things and a lot of the times you can get away with it and not have problems. These are just some things that can cause it. Um, fresh paint. Sometimes if the beehive has fresh paint, if you don't wait long enough for get the strong smell out. Some bees don't really seem to mind it. Like, you won't notice anything. Some bees, they'll be outside the hive, and it's obvious that they can't deal with it, the fumes, and they'll leave it. Some bees are just pickier than others. Um, another one is agrochemicals. If your bees don't have foraging due because of pesticides out in the field, um, there's no nectar or pollen, or it's tainted, uh, and they can't find no clean food, they will leave the problem behind and find somewhere they can forage. So, to, in addition to that one, here's one you may be very surprised to hear. Butterflies. Butterflies can make your bees abscond if there's too many of them. A lot of people just think of pollinators such as butterflies, and bees okay they don't really think about the wasp and, and the hummingbirds and every other thing but butterflies if butterflies are eating all the forage the bees won't they won't battle them over it they'll just go find somewhere else that they don't have the pressure and uh and that's pretty wild but if you have too many butterflies it can happen um, I'm going to say that's very rare because uh, I plant all kinds of stuff for butterflies because I love to watch them. My little boy likes to watch them. And uh, a lot of times their tongues are long enough that they work stuff the bees don't anyway. But it is possible. Another one is water. Bees have to have water. The bees use it to thin the honey. They use it to cool the hive. So bees will always be within flying distance of water. That's why swamps and creeks and stuff like that's a great place to put swarm traps or to find local bees because bees need water. So just thought, go over some things, maybe uh, open your eyes to some things you never thought about. And uh, you know, if you're having a problem with absconding, you know, revert back to this list basically that I've given you and uh, maybe it's something you haven't thought about so make sure you like this video for me subscribe if you enjoyed it we'd be glad to have you with the Bass Bees family share it if you really liked it and uh, y'all have a good day much love from your boy Bass Bees